Asia, one of the most vulnerable regions to climate change, is struggling with dangerous flooding. As a result, the continent faces a serious threat to their GDP, tourism, and safety of their residents. This ongoing problem can be examined in Southeast Asia and specifically in places such as Thailand, the Philippines, Vietnam, and areas by the lower Mekong River Basin. Asia's long coastlines are populated by low-lying areas. The region has grown to have more than 640 million people. The population boost has caused infrastructure development that contributes to coastal erosion, therefore making the area even more vulnerable, particularly the shoreline along the Hao and Kwa De Beach, receded by 150 meters over the course of seven years. Additionally, the lower Mekong River Basin has seen an increased level of precipitation in the wet season, causing intense flooding events. The future of this area is not a bright one. Current studies about the impacts in the Mekong River Basin share some common themes. Increased temperature and annual precipitation increased the depth and duration of flooding in the Mekong Delta floodplain and prolonged agricultural drought in the south and the east. The region could see detrimental effects as quickly as the end of the century, where the coldest summer months would then become hotter than the current warmest summer months. The future impact on communities is also bleak. The Asian Development Bank estimates Southeast Asia could suffer a loss as high as 11% in their GDP. Climate change will take a toll on agriculture as well, where rice population in Indonesia, the Philippines, Thailand, and Vietnam could drop by 50%. By 2100. The combination of a hurt GDP and damaged agriculture system is a dangerous situation for residents. Thankfully, there are potential solutions and management options. Marcel Marchand, a Hanau based expert in flood risk management, supports a $70 million project to provide warning of floods to residents in advance. Other adaptation plans have been created in all four countries covered by the Lower Mekong River Basin, but cooperative planning amongst these four countries has not happened yet. A potential plan for the four countries would benefit from including climate projections in national plans with transitions into local action plans.